What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. So make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this series review started. Right, y'all. I finished season 11, and, and what is it? This is the episodes 12 through 20 of the Mahabharat, and whoo, some things going on. It has really picked up. Well, let's say, let's talk about where we left off because you know, Pandavas were, you know, well, Yudi was crowned a king, and and they were gonna have their own little place, uh, little desert land, and they were. Uh, leaving uh, Hestampur and about to leave and everything and then all the people were gathered around to like join them they were all wanting to go so many people I think it really touched their hearts it did because you can just see the looks on their faces I think it was Kunti who was like look at your people who's waiting for you to follow you I mean, would, who would not want to follow them? I wouldn't want to stay there with that blind king and that mean old prince. I would be right there with them, wanting to follow them. And then they had Draupadi in her little carriage and they're bringing them out and everything. And they had this guy come and he's like, please let us go. I, and my daughter, he wanted like his daughter, Varush, what is he, what, how do you say her name? Varushkali, Varushkali. Wanted her to be like Draupadi's maid or, or helper, and and she's like, of course, come on, you know. Which I already think they're gonna have a friendship. I do, if she stays around. <laughs> Draupadi's going, and they're on their long little journey, and she got a little mouth like she don't care, you know, about holding her tongue, cause she said something about you know, the people that are the ones that suffered and have to to put all the you know when they build the kingdom it's all on the backs of the of the people and the and the people that serve never the princes and stuff and Drapati was like first she was like don't be afraid to talk to me which I was like oh that's my Drapati because first she was like not wanting to talk and like sorry she's like don't be afraid to speak your mind and sorry and and this and and I was like oh that's Drapati because anybody else right they were probably well probably not the Pandavas but just think if someone said that to that mean old prince, oh, he would, they would have him executed. They would, you know that would happen. But Drupati's like, no, you can talk to me. And and then she went on to say how, you know, how they're different. And they are. This is why the people are following them. Because they know they're different. They know they're there for the people and to serve the people and not just to be some mean old tyrant. But then they arrive and all know it's bad news already. They got that snake king. What's his name? Tak Shack, Tak Shack, is that how you say his name? That snake king over there. And that's what they warned him about. Bishmari warned him about uh, that Tak Shack coming and, and nobody, they won't send them rain in that area so they can't even grow things and, and those snakes are already attacking. Right away, they arrive and there comes the snakes. They come, they come flying at them. <laughs> Me and my husband were watching, we're like, oh. They're being attacked by all the snakes. And, and they really came. And then that big old tax shack. Oh, he just nasty looking. He comes out with all that. Mmm. Mmm. I don't like him. I think he's going to be bad this whole time. But, you know, the Indra said he'll protect him and gave him his word that he's going to protect him. And so after, you know, they attacked all the people, the only person except they didn't attack was my girl, Varashka. Varashka. How are you saying it? Varashkali. Virash Kali, she's the only one. Only because she ran, then she jumped in the river. But she was the only one that wasn't staying there on the ground with the poison in them. And they're like, oh, they killed all the people. Now they feel bad. All these people followed them, the Pandavas. And now the snakes done attacked them and killed them. Well, then they were like, well, no. The same snakes can come back and take the poison out of them. Well, how's that, how's that going to happen? They, they went back in the forest. They ain't your friends. They attacked you. That's why Arjun was like, I ain't having it. They had it. They said, it's up to you, Arjun. Because Arjun's father is the Indra, and he's the one that protects him. So Arjun was like, I ain't having it. And he went sent the fire in the forest. But then they were like, oh, you can't burn the trees. So he said, like, he prayed to the, the fire. I guess it's the fire god, one of the people, and, and don't harm the trees. And he sent the fire. Well, here comes Indra. trying to. Do. So I was like, oh, no. It's going to be father and son battling, huh? 
<laughs> it's gonna be falling some battle because here come put enter sends the rain then our Jew takes his arrow but there's another layer of fire I was like oh, them two is gonna be battling well they do they do and I have a reaction for it let's check out or the video for it we can check it out together of our June and Indra battling. I mean, that's this was like a climax moment because that's the father and son right there battling. Y'all ready to check this out? Let me let me get in position. Let's go. So, oh, that's when he sent. What happened? Is that when he sent the rain? Oh yeah, because he first did the fire. There's the rain. Our June's like, nope. Nope. And, and between every shot, he's praying to that to that fire guy. He stopped it. There's the other layer of fire. You know that made Indra mad, didn't it? And the fire was going the other way. <laughs> I was like, this is who you created, Arjun. You gave him these powers. Or I said Arjun, Indra. Oh, and then he throws that rock at him. And I was like, right there, I was like, hurry up, Arjun. That rock's gonna hit you over there praying. <laughs> Done. Done. Oh, well, he did get hit by some of those rocks. But he what? Look, it didn't keep my Arjun down. It didn't keep my Arjun down. He still got his weapon. Remember? And Indra's like, how? Well, look, Indra, you gave him these powers. <laughs> and then he got his weapon. Right? What is that called? His... Indra's like special weapon. So you're like, oh, here comes, you're going to send your special weapon at your son, Indra. Then Arjun got his arrow. They think it's going to be about to explode up in here. Them two things coming together. And they always got to do it slow motion. I'm like, oh no. Oh. Oh. Ah. And Krishna. Who saves the day? You know who saves the day, my boy Krishna. There he is. Look at him. Look, Arjun's happy to see him. Hi, Jan. Arjun's like, whoa, whoa, Krishna's here. So then what happens? They they make up they they make up Arjun and Indra. And Arjun look promises to look over the snakes and all that. And you know Arjun's gonna stick to his word. And Indra knows Arjun's. Those are good, they're good people. They stick to their word. They stick to their oaths. Arjun is gonna stick to it. Indra knows he's gonna stick to it. So I'm glad that now we go back to Histampur, right? Now we're right there. Because where does after Varush Kali jump in the river end up? Right there, who finds her? No other than Karn's father. Well, the, I guess he's adoptive father, right? You can't really call him biological father because we know who that is. But d the one who raised him and everything, he finds her, brings her back to hell, tells her, she tells him what happened, and, and he tells her we all are there. Well, they, then back in his time, poor, they find out everybody's trying to leave now. Everybody's trying to leave to go after, you know, go follow the Pandavas. And that sure ain't making... Uh, the, that mean old prince happy or the blind king none of them they're like so that blind king orders like the they, they locking them all in there they're like you can't leave why are you locking them in and even not even are they locking them in they what did they send our June down to the gate to make sure nobody leaves without Varash Kali. She was like, I gotta go I already left once I got my father's back there I gotta go back there and see what happened so she was like about to leave anyway. And then I guess I didn't even notice Karn and her were like childhood friends, which you kind of think because, you know, she's rescued or, or by his adoptive father and he knows her. So you're like, oh, I guess they did grow up together. 
I guess they did. And he's now the king. With, and she's trying to get out the gates. And he's the one that has to stop her. Oh, she tells him. <laughs> she, she makes him realize the kind of person he's becoming. Since he's doing all these promises for that mean king. And became a king himself. She did. She makes him realize the, the kind of person he's becoming. And it's not that good. Well, then my girl, my girl, uh, Cunty saves the day. <laughs> my girl, Cunty comes. And then Karn really can't say nothing against Karn. Karn sees Cunty and he's just like, because that's his mother. Like, even though they don't know, he knows, I think, in his heart. He always loved Cunty. Even when she was coming there and, and he was got all those flowers. And every time he sees her and he's crying when... When he knows, like, they're going to go kill her. You know he's got that love in his heart. for The the son love in his heart for Kunti. And Kunti's like, all right, well, you come with me, Vrushkali. Vrush, is that it? Vrushkali, you come with me and we'll go together. Because she was going to go visit her son. You know, blind king won't let her leave. He said, you can't go either. And then she was going to go to Gandhari. It's like, she was going to, I was like, oh, she's going to the... The above his head, <laughs> Gandhari. <laughs> well, I guess that's not above his head, you know. But she's like, she was gonna, she was gonna keep fighting it. But then Karn, I think he started to 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 feel like the wrongness he's been doing, and uh, and he went to his friend friend, that mean old prince, and asked to so he can bring for Rush, for Rush Kali. And then that whole thing happened. He done gave up his crown to do this. He was like, well, give up the crown. I was like, oh, you know he likes her then. <laughs> he gave up the crown, wanted to go to score her back. And they let him. After he gave up his crown and did all that stuff, they let him. They're all going off. And Kunti, before they leave, right, he goes and takes her and was like, like tells her, you know, he's going to bring her. And before they leave, Kunti was going to send him with a message. And she tells him what to tell the little panda. a little message and stuff. So then you wonder, oh, is he really going to give it? Because he kind of got a little, little uh, you, you wasn't sure if you had a, he had an attitude or, or he was like, well, I, I'll deliver it, but I have to be a friend and, and tell them what you said and, and all this. And she's like, well, this is what I want to tell him. You can tell him or not, and you can tell your friends or not, but please just send my message. So they're off. They're off to bring uh, Vera Scotty back to her father and, and to the Pandavas. And on her journey, like, oh, you, you get a lot of into Karn here. You do. You get a lot into his soul. First, you know, just the day before, he was the king and, and giving gold and alms to, like, the Brahma guys and everything. So he's there again doing the same thing. And then the Brahma's like, well, we can't take it from you now. And he's like, what's different about me yesterday than today? They're like, well, yesterday you were a king, and now we can't take, you're below us. We can't take the alms from you. Oh, he got mad. He threw that gold that Karn did. But I can say because Karn sees beyond just titles. He does. And that's that's the right thing. That's, you know, what people need to do. You need to kind of see beyond these titles and just the goodness in the people. And you, not just their titles and what rank they are and caste or whatever, but you, you're basing your judgment on their heart. I think for Rush Kali seeing that too. I do. I see the, they, they start blossoming a little friendship, maybe more. I have this little video here of them talking on their way to, to the Pandavas area. Y'all ready to do this with me? Let's go. I can not dharm to leave my dharm. How can I do that? You are the ring of me. Remember, he's like, I'm indebted to you. He did. He was like, because she called. And she said, I didn't realize that you were so kind and forgiven. He's like, I didn't realize what wisdom you have for Rush Kali. And you, you are so small. You will understand how much you have to live in your life. I didn't want this. अब तक नहीं देख सका था तुमने बिना कुछ बोले ही दिखा दिया अवश्य ही तुम्हें जो प्राप्त करेगा वो जीवन में कभी मार्ग नहीं भूलेगा सच अ रोमांटिक व्हाट ही सेड ही इज लाइक हुएवर विल हुएवर हैज यू एज देयर वाइफ हुएवर हैज यू फॉर रश काली हुएवर हैज यू एज देयर वाइफ और व्हाटएवर देयर नेवर गोना लूज देयर वे 
I was like, Karn, you need her for a wife. That's what I'm saying in my head. Well, then you need her for a wife, Karn, because you need somebody to show you the right way. Because you listening too much to that those bad guys. <sighs> that little blossom and romance there just makes me happy, though. Oh, you can just tell the respect and 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 friendship and love that they have already. I love them together. So it was a whole thing too. When he when Karn finally arrives with for Rush Kali and everything, at that same time the Pandavas done heard that they won't let Kunti leave, and they was ready to go get her. They're like, let's go fight. And Krishna, <laughs> Krishna is always the instigator. <laughs> Krishna always doing some stuff. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I think you should. <laughs> and there was about probably because he knows what got happened. They're leaving the gate, and then here comes Karn with. Varushki, and then Karn's like, of course, I got a message for you. Tells them Kunti's message that they need, what was her message too? That you, you needs to become an independent king. That's what her message is like. Don't worry about all this. You become an independent king and then I can come be with you. So that's their, their, you know, goal now. You know, and then Karn's there, deliver Varushki, he leaves, and then there's Krishna again putting a little word he's like that's a good man there for Kali that's a good man you're just gonna let him get away this might be the last time and then she runs out <laughs> she runs out and they had that little meeting in the oh you're just like oh they're gonna be together that's what I feel but I don't know does she stay or not I'm not sure does she stay with the Pandavas because Karn you know he's gonna return is he gonna bring her with her I don't know but I feel like they're gonna be together I do. Don't y'all tell me. Do. Don't y'all tell me any spoilers on that. That's that's what I think they're gonna be together. Of course, things can't just go peaceful after that. They can never just go peaceful. There always gotta be something going on. And that tax shack, the the snake who and the for, who they done already said they're gonna protect. He gets a little word from that Shikun, you know him to go steal the cows and everything. So he's over there starting trouble. Now they're like, well, we need that blessing. I guess, I don't know why they needed the cows and that, but I guess to bless the city and, and the offerings and all, they needed it, right? And he's got it, so they can't even do that that ceremony without those cows and everything that he stole. So Arjun wasn't having it. Arjun's like, I'm gonna go fight him. But he's gonna have his bow. So And then his bow, he says his bow is in Drapati's room and she's in there with Yudi and he's not supposed to go in there he's gonna get in trouble I was like oh, oh. problems already problems already and then him and the, the one of the twin brothers they go back and forth because twin brothers like let me go in there and Arjun's like no I'm gonna go in there and and finally Arjun just goes in there takes it and he just oh he didn't even look he just walks in and they saw him they're like oh he didn't he, he just straight he he was like this I was like, he ain't even looking at you. He's looking like this. And he grabs it, goes out, you know, like nothing happened. Fights those guys, that the snake guy got the stuff back. But now he, like he's in trouble for that, right? He's in trouble. Now he's got to do his penance. We know how these penances goes. We saw his dad, Pandu, had to go in the forest for so many years. And I'm like, oh. Arjun never has it easy. <laughs> Poor Arjun. Now I heard, though, before this, that it was actually an accident that he walked in on uh, Yudi and Drapati. It was like that. So I know how things go different from in the show and then in the actual scriptures. How they, they, the show, of course, does things different just for, you know, entertainment wise and stuff. But I, I thought it was a little different, and, and y'all can make, make, you know, clear, make clear the ground on this, that was it actually an accident Arjun walked in on him, and he didn't go in there on purpose to get his bow and go out. I know y'all will clear that up, right, y'all? Well, that's the end of season 11. That's the end of season 11. We're going to be, you know, I'm out of town, but when I return, I'm going to be right back into him. Until then, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!